Hi, I'm Lisa Rangel with Chameleon Resumes, the premier executive resume writing company, and I'm excited to be with you here today because I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics. Um, you know, owning a resume writing and job landing uh, consultancy firm, you know, people sometimes assume that my favorite topic to talk about might be resumes or LinkedIn profiles or, you know, what, what tactics to do in the job search. And, and while, you know, that all excites me and I can kind of geek out on all of that, I have to tell you my most favorite topic to discuss um, in doing the job search is mindset. Mindset to me is everything. And it, it really can shorten your job search if you have the right mindset. So today, I'm gonna to talk to you about three mindset changes that will shorten your job search. And I have seen it happen over and over and over again. So I know these three suggestions that I'm gonna give you today will uh, shorten your job search. So first, uh, the first mindset change that you should make is stop calling it job searching. Start calling it job landing. You know, to me, words matter. And would you rather search for a job or land a job? You know, the, the concept of searching has always resonated with me as just someone aimlessly looking around and not really knowing where to go. Whereas, you know, to me, when you're out landing a job, like you have a mission, you have a purpose, you have a destination. And, you know, I think it, it, it empowers you more when you use words like job landing, right? So I would start calling it, you're doing your job landing activities and, and stop using that word job search that's so commonly used. Um, the second mind shift, uh, job search mind shift change that you should make uh, to shorten your job search is begin with the end in mind, you know, and, you know, if you want a director of finance job, then sort of backpedal that out, you know, reverse engineer that process. You know, who is the person that you would report to as a director of finance? You know, what's the title of that person? Um, what companies do you want to work at? You know, what type of companies do you want to work at? So now then go look for the person you would report to as a director of finance in the companies that you would want to work at and reach out to those people directly, you know, and, and reverse engineer that process. And I've had, you know, clients ask me, well, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. So how can I start with the end in mind? Well, the, even when you're not sure what you want to do or you're going to change your end you might have shorter, you might have steps before the final end that are still your end, you know? So you want to make sure that um, if you're exploring, maybe your end is to, if you're, you know, a, a marketing assistant and you want to go into account management. So now what you have to do is maybe your end for this phase of your job search is to look for, um, you know, directors of account management in industries or companies where you want to work and do an exploratory search. So you can determine if that's what you want to do. Then you'll come up with another plan, another end in mind, based on the information from this first phase. So you may have to break out the end in mind concept into smaller chunks if you're not sure what you want to do, but you should always have an end in mind. What's your purpose in reaching out to these individuals? Who do you want to reach out to? Where do you find people who you would report to? in that ideal job that you want. So, you know, always start out with the end in mind. And if you're not exactly sure what you want to do, then break that end in mind concept down into chunks that will eventually, when pieced together, will get you to the final destination. So that's key. And then the third mindset change that you should do that will shorten your job search is simply really believe that it can happen. Don't psych yourself out. And, and some activities that I see people do that, that psych themselves out is, you know, they automatically think it's not going to work or they assume it's ageism when it's not. Um, they are only reply, they're only submitting their resume to job boards and they're not speaking to anybody. You know, you have to know that there are multiple ways to find a job and not one way is a magic elixir. You know, so about... 60 to 65 percent of hires happen through employee referrals, social media connections, personal contacts. You know, another 20, 25 percent, depending on the study that you look at, might be through job postings and, and the technology behind applicant tracking systems related to those job postings. 
and ish 15% of hires happen through third party recruiters. You know, so the key is to do a little bit of all of that and not only one function. And the better jobs are found through employee referrals, social media connections, and personal contacts. Because that's what most people do when they look for candidates. And when they can't find the candidate that they want in their networks, then they post the ad. Or then if they have company has the budget to go to the recruiter. So if you're only submitting your resume to job postings as the tactic to look for a job, you're going to be severely disappointed in most cases. So the key is, is to not psych yourself out. Try new tactics, try new things, try it more than once and tweak it, try it again. And, and don't psych yourself out and don't automatically believe it's not gonna work. You know, that's key. So, you know, cause if you go into this mindset, into this process with the mindset of like, oh, that's not gonna work for me. Oh, they don't want me, I'm too old. Or, you know, insert and then read here. Here's the other thing that happens. Not only does that, you know, affect, I think your, your job search mojo, the, the letters you put together, the people you're speaking to on the phone or, or emailing, like that, that vibe is kind of in there. But more importantly, if you actually do get an interview, you're going on that interview, like your shoulders are a little slump and you're not as, you know, pushed back in your shoulders. You're not as confident, you're not as outgoing. Having a positive mind, I don't mean there's the Pollyanna, you know, poly mindset, but just looking at, at problems as opportunities, looking at way, you know, things as possibilities, not as problems. And, and, and looking at where you're gonna find the solution, no matter how dark and, and, and down the situation may appear, if you firmly believe there's always a solution, you just haven't found it yet, that mentality comes out in your interviews, it comes out in your language when you're writing something, it comes out in your voice and your tone over the phone. So you've gotta make sure you're not psyching yourself out. And that's point number three, and always believe that you can do it. So if you liked this, video and you really want more anecdotal stories and and motivational texts i have my job landing mindset ebook that i will have the link for in the description that i think you will love and it will help continue the motivation and the inspiration that i draw from you know years as a recruiter years as a salesperson years as an entrepreneur years as a coach helping job seekers every day stay focused and stay positive on doing this job landing exercise. So you may enjoy it. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So go down to that description box and get that job landing ebook. Also, if you'd like to leave me a comment or send me an email, I'm at lr at millionresumes.com or you can leave a comment down below under the description as well. So again, Lisa Rangel, Chameleon Resumes, the premier executive resume writing company. I thank you for joining me here today. And if you like the video, like the video. If you enjoyed it, share it. If you think it can help someone, share it. And I thank you so much for spending these few minutes with me here today and look forward to seeing you next week. Take good care.